In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Elementor with WooCommerce and the four widgets that Elementor created and added to Elementor 2.1 to help you enhance your WooCommerce pages and tie them in with the rest of your Elementor design. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here and you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe because I'm always sharing new WordPress tips, tricks, and hacks, and just ways to make your life easier and better with WordPress. And if you also haven't joined our Facebook group yet, you should check that out in the link in the description down below. It's a free group. It is a private group, so you have to apply for it, but it's free. And you can come in there and chat WordPress. We help each other, we get better at WordPress, and we do this all kinds of WordPress-related stuff in that group. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture. To get your WooCommerce pages rocking and rolling with Elementor, the first thing you have to do is scroll down the side here, look for your Elementor menu, click on Settings, and then make sure that Products is checked right here. If you, this is not checked, check it. Otherwise, the Edit with Elementor button will not appear on that post type. And if you want other post types to have Elementor capabilities, you can just check the boxes, whatever post types you want. But for WooCommerce itself, just the Products one is required. Then click on Save Changes. Now we can go to the WooCommerce menu, actually the products menu, and click on add new. And we can give this product a name. Let's just call this test product. Let's keep it really simple. Save draft, because we're not showing you how to make WooCommerce products, we're showing you how to use Elementor on WooCommerce pages. So we're not going to go through all the details on WooCommerce products. There's other tutorials for that. So once that's saved, I'm going to click on edit with Elementor. So here we have our product page. This is the product that we just created, and it has placeholders for stuff we didn't actually customize yet. The left-hand sidebar here would be much nicer if you have a WooCommerce sidebar and the WooCommerce widgets in there. So just ignore that for now. But on the right-hand side, we have our product name, which we had as test product. We have the category if there is one. We have the image, which goes here. Description, reviews. And this was set as a single product or a simple product, which is the default. If this was a variable product, you'd have more options down here like attributes and variations. So depending on which product you created, this page will look slightly different. And Elementor has created four WooCommerce widgets. They may be expanding this in the future, but right now there's four with the release of Elementor 2.1. We have products, add to cart, WooCommerce pages, and WooCommerce categories, or Woo categories. Pretty self-explanatory. If we drag and drop them over here, we can have a carousel type display of products available in the shop. So right now it's set to four columns. If we only have three products, four columns looks funny, so let's set that to three. That looks better. None of these have images. If they did, this would look a little prettier. But we can paginate those if we want by clicking the paginate option here. And the query allows you to be more specific in what you display. So the one that we have here just pulls in the most recent products. We can do a query, which also has the most recent products, or there can be a current query where we exclude certain products by matching their post types or post IDs. We can have just sale products shown there, featured products, or manually select individual products based on their name. Just start typing their name in here. Even just one letter is enough. And you can choose the product, and then just that one product would be shown. You could change that to just one column, and then have that product displayed nice and big. So there's a lot of options, a lot of different ways you can display with this query down here, you can avoid duplicates or not have duplicates by checking this box. You can exclude certain certain products if you want to. And that is the products element. So we also have Woo Add to Cart, which is just a pretty basic Add to Cart button. We have to set a product for that. So we're on the page for Test Product, so we should set this button to Test Product. So I'm going to put a T in here for Test. Click on Test Product. And now it's going to be associating that Add to Cart button with the test product. Now add it to the cart. And we can also customize this like any other button using the Style section and the Advanced section, like any other Elementor button. A few more options here as well. We can have, I like a shopping cart after. So we can just flip it to after. I like to add a little bit more space between the Add to Cart and the icon. It's going to add a bit more space there. That looks nice. I'm going to make that large. You can change the text of the Add to Cart button, and you can even make that dynamic and then use the product title, for example. So you could say, 
uh, before that, add product title to cart. Now we should have a much more customized and specific add to cart button. I'm just gonna add a space before the two over here. Now this product was called green shirt. It would say add green shirt to card and that should say cart. So ignore my spelling mistakes, but you get the idea. You can have dynamic buttons that are different on every single page using the dynamic input from Elementor. So that is the add to cart button. We also have two more options. We've got the WooCommerce pages, which are complete WooCommerce pages, which you can put inside of your Elementor template. For example, the header up here is an Elementor header. The footer is an Elementor footer. And this is where we can add, using this element I just dragged over here, WooCommerce pages, like the cart page, single product page, checkout page, order tracking form, and my account. And you click on any of these, and it pre-fills all the content that's required on those pages. The cart's currently empty, so that one's not that great. Let's do the My Account page. That one is much better. And obviously we have a lot of stuff on the page that doesn't need to be here, like the test product, like the Add to Cart button, like the related products. But you get the idea. You can add this, add, you can add this My Account page to any Elementor template, which is pretty awesome. And the same with all these other WooCommerce pages. And lastly, we have Woo Categories. Drag and drop it over here. And this is basically just another way to display related products. We have a number of columns we can choose, number of categories we can choose. We can pick a, the source. If we do manual selection again, it will manually select. We have by parent, if you have parent categories. Right now, all three of my products are in uncategorized. So that's why we have this one uncategorized input. And the image here is pulled from the category image. So if you add images to the WooCommerce categories, that image would be here. So maybe this is roll control cars. I have a bunch of roll control cars in the image and then click on that category and it'll take you to a page where it has the specific products within that category. And those are the WooCommerce enhancements created by Elementor. It allows you to fit WooCommerce better into your Elementor design website and just makes your life a little bit easier. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the Facebook group in the description down below. And then check out one of these videos that pop up on the right hand side so you get even better at WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.